storm aces on the way guys so this one's going to be a wet and windy wild camp how are them let's get going right That's the roundabout I camped on a few months ago when I had Messi the hiking dog with us and the police turned up and arrested someone for drink driving, I think it was. You better believe it. So welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show, folks. Storm Aisha's on its way. So I need to get up to my camping spot as quick as I can and get all my gear set up. I've just been watching the news before I came out and it's pretty much going to hit the whole of the UK. So this might not be the most sensible idea to camp out tonight, but this is not the most sensible channel, is it? You know the score on the Blot Outdoor Show, guys. Yes, so I'm going to do a stealth camp on this slip road. So just up there, go under that overpass, sharp left, and that's where I'm looking, looking at getting, guys. The A19, very busy dual carriageway, goes over the top of it. If you're in America or Canada, it's not a dual carriageway, it's a highway, I know. Aye. So, <laughs> I've got about an hour left before it's going to be dark, so I need to get a move on. It's going to absolutely chuck it down by the weather forecast, and obviously it's going to be really windy. But I've been given a tarp, like a tarp shelter, which is ideal for stealth camping. A company called One Wind Outdoors have sent me that tarp. So thank you to the guys and girls at One Wind Outdoors. It's very much appreciated. I'm going to set my bivvy up underneath it and then hopefully I've got a bit of room to sit underneath for when it does start to piss down you better believe it to keep my chest warm I've got some lovely waski that's been kindly sent to me a very interesting waski I'll tell you more about that soon guys I've got snacks I've got food and I've got loads of shite to talk as usual man thing goes and like I said, it's a Sunday night. I normally do my stealth camping on a Saturday night. I'm doing this video now because yesterday I was absolutely ill with man flu. You ladies, you ladies haven't got a clue what those guys go through with man flu. But I'm out now whew, on a Sunday night and this video will go out next Sunday. Okay then folks. I bring it back in a couple of nails to darkness. I just need to get around this corner, but there's cars coming, so I'm just taking my time. Quick look, guys. Nothing coming. Here we go. Oh, yes. I'm in, guys. It was a nice, easy one to get in. And that road there, all the traffic is going to be going that way. There's going to be nothing coming down facing me, if you know what I'm talking about. So, yes, the cars are going to be going up 50, 60, 70 mile an hour. They're not going to come up here and look around the corner and see me here. Well, that's what I'm hoping. Looks like it's on a bit of a, a slope going down there, so it's not ideal. I'm going to have to have a look. I'll have to get the, the old bag down of me back around Try and find a decent spot. Probably up against that pillar. It's going to be the best. 
I'll work it out like I always do guys but that's it I'm in it's going to be a great night and this is the way the way of the Mandingo you better believe it is guys okay let's get the bad dad off and I'll bring you back in a Winnie Mandela lice don't want to be going in these woods tonight and set my gear up with the storm coming I don't fancy a tree coming down on us that's the busy A19 Enduro carriageway you know it's almost like a motorway just as busy Let's get the camp set up. Camp Mandingo. Right. So there we go my fansexuals, that's the one wind outdoors, lightweight shelter, tarp shelter, which is perfect for stealth camping, as you can see here, I've got my bivvy there underneath already, I still need to put all my stuff in my bivvy, my foil mat, my sleeping bag, my pillar and all I carry on, but you can see there's loads of room here, I've left a nice big space over there. I'll put another like foil mat down <coughs> and then when it starts lashing it down with rain I can sit under there talk to you legends have a beer a few waskies you better believe it guys you can see here it's propped up with two walking poles and two guy lines there you go there in there it didn't come with the walking poles you'll have to have them yourself but luckily I already had some it came with loads of spare guy lines which you had to attach yourself and I'm no expert with this kind of thing I'm not into bushcraft and that so I'm always a bit apprehensive about setting tarps up and I've just set that up an absolute piece of cake it took us 10 minutes if you knew what you were doing 5 minutes, 2 or 3 minutes do you know what I mean but even for a novice like me I've set that up Perfect, the Mondo Mandingos, as they say in the Dodoin. Um, it's very light, but weighs in at only 465 grams, so that's absolutely nout, light as a feather, and it all packs away into this tiny little bag. And we get this like waterproof bag as well, that comes with it, and the bag's inside. You get seven pegs, three go down at the back, one each corner and one on each guy line piece of cake guys time will tell if it's going to be good I think it is going to be and it's the perfect conditions to test out the top tonight I'm really looking forward to getting underneath there out of the rain <laughs> you've got the noise of the trees hopefully none of them come falling down yes this is going to be a good camp guys it might be a Sunday night and I might be at work tomorrow but I don't care I've got you guys with me you better believe I have how are then? Let's get the rest of my geyser up and let's get a beer. You know it makes sense. Mice.
Oh yes, Mandingos. Time to show you all my bits and pieces. As you've already seen, I'm under the tarp shelter from One Wind Outdoors. And I forgot to say early on, guys, one of these bad boys will set you back 40 pound, which is not really, is it, for a good bit of kit. If you're looking at getting the stealth cabin or even just a bit bushcraft in the old wood dingoes, man dingoes, 40 quid, you can't go wrong. I'll leave a link for One Wind Outdoors in the description of this video. So if you click that link, that'll take you straight out their website. And they've got loads of other things as well. So you might go looking for this and you might see something else as well because they do sleeping bags, they do other types of shelters, hammocks, all sorts. You better believe they do. Anyway, guys, time to show you all my bits and pieces on my food and drink. And it feels like I'm getting a free meal tonight because a few days ago, I've done the stealth camp in the McDonald's and KFC car park. And as you know, I went in KFC and I treat myself to some food from there. And some of this stuff is what I brought out on that camp. So waste not, want not, guys. I'm not going to chuck it in the old bin diesel. I'm going to do some serious munching gladback on this tonight. And as you can see, I've got that again. Chicken, tiger, masala. You better believe it. And I've got some licicles, Indian stand lice from my good friend. Oh, yes. You know who he is, man, Dingoes. Uncle Bensky Bates, international playboy, bunny bar insurance, a British gas price far too high, a lifetime achievement award to the rich and famous after party people, house of love, shark, baby shark attack on Bondi Beach, an Australian rules club football, biscuits, very nice to face, the intern game, changing rooms and sports direct is really cheap, man goes. Oh yes, you better believe it is, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Right. Jammy Father Dougals, I've got a video on Nasty, Browns Bill Tong, link in the description as usual, guys, for Browns Bill Tong. If you go through their website, remember to use the code MANDINGO for your discount. I've got some of these. Barbecue, smokehouse corn snacks. You better believe it. One can of cheap Aldi beer, hop forward beer. I had one of them last time and it was quite decent. And a bottle of the German lager. Oh yes, MANDINGOS. You can't beat a good old the German lager rooney. Well, that's what I'm going to have. I'm going to have a nice German lager. I'm going to sit under here because it's blowing a gale and outside that wind, it's bitly cold. Yes, I know you might think, were well, you under a tarp? How's being under a tarp keeping you warm when it's so open? Believe you me, guys, if, you, if you've been under a tarp or you've been in a tent, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Just keeping that breeze off you, keeping that wind off you makes all the difference. Anyway, Manding goes, I'll bring you back very soon when I think there's some more shite to talk about and believe you me, there'll be loads of shite talking tonight guys Right oh, Can you hear that noise guys of the wind coming through the trees Storm Asia is starting to blow dingo Let's hope the one wind outdoors top keeps me nice and safe tonight and keeps me out of the old Wayne Wooney. And when I was showing you all my food and drink, there was one thing I forgot to show you guys. Me waski. Yes. And it's Glen Morangi Single Highland rare malt scotch waski that's been kindly bought for me from Cormac looking cheers Cormac my man friend I will certainly ding dang do a world famous with you later on early on when I was walking in and I said it's an interesting waski what I mean by that was they don't make this anymore 15 year old Glen Morangi rare malt scotch waski it's discontinued you can't buy it anymore I was doing a little bit of research on uh, Google about it today because I remember reading something about it before about it um, being discontinued and I've seen people loads of people who love the whiskies are trying to get hold of a bottle of this and they can't but if they do manage to get one it's costing a silly amount of money like over a hundred pounds 150, 175 pounds for a bottle of whiskey. When this was getting made, it didn't cost that. It didn't cost nowhere near that. I'm guessing it cost something like 
35, 45 pounds, maybe it's 50 pounds, I don't know, I'm just guessing there. But yes, now you can pay 150, 175 pounds for a bottle of this. So I don't know how Cormac is getting this. I don't know if it was part of his collection, but either way, I'm so grateful. So once again, Cormac, thank you so much. Now, I've only brought half a bottle of this out. I've put half a bottle into an empty water bottle at home. When I get home tomorrow, I'll pour that half a bottle from the water bottle back into this, and I will keep this for my collection. And with it being a discontinued wasky that you can't buy anymore, I won't touch it, I'll keep it. Or I'll keep it for a special occasion. You know what I'm talking about, guys. But yes, later on, <coughs> I'm gonna do a world famous wasky review on that. I'm having to stand it up because I've snapped the cork. Can you see the cork floating about in the bottle there? I've snapped the cork and I've got the top just balancing. So that's why I've got the bottle stood down there in the piss corner. Because if the bottle falls over, the top's going to come off. I'll have to try and get a new cork for it. I'll just get a cork off another bottle, old bottle. heard a police car coming not that it's coming for me <laughs> you know what I'm talking about man dingoes right then how it I'm getting wet it's not really raining heavy the rain's just blown all over in all directions so the last thing I want to do is get blown off oh matron let's get back on the top you better believe it oh yes this is the life, man, dingoes. Stop raining. The air's still wet. There's still, like, sprinkles of rain blowing around, but it's not lashing it down, so I thought I might as well come outside. I don't want to be stuck under there unless I need to be under there. I like being outside. I'm, like, I'm lying on one side and my arms starting to ache, and then I'll turn over on the other side and then my arms aching, and then back on the other side. I'd rather be out here, standing up. <laughs> if it starts lashing down, I'll be straight back under there. <laughs> you better believe it, guys. I'll have to be careful. I'm standing out there without a care in the world. There was a police car went past earlier on. You know, like a motorway police car or a squaddy, squaddy car as people call them. And I've got this, I've got this light on as well, on the selfie stick. But with only taking a look in the mirror, you know the rear view mirror, and spot a torch and see me, and they'll probably just come back round. I mean, I'm not going to get in trouble or anything. The worst that's going to happen is they're going to tell us to move on, but that's no good if you're trying to make a camping video. Ah, well, that's nearly gone, Dingo. I didn't bring loads of drinks out tonight. Like I say, I've had that. And then I've got that kind of Aldi beer, like an IPA, like a cheap IPA. Half a bottle of whiskey. Half a bottle of whiskey is still okay, isn't it? You know what I mean? But you know me, guys. Sometimes I like a good drink when I'm coming. But I've got work tomorrow. I don't start work till three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm on the late shift for the next two weeks. So I start work at 3 o'clock and then I finish at 11 o'clock at night. So, yeah, I can get home in the morning. Nice hot bath. I can even have, pardon me, I can even have a couple of hours shut eye on the couch after I take the dogs out for a walk. <laughs> Cheese man, dingoes. I'll put that in the bin, Diesel, in a win it. Just put it down there for now. Okay then, guys. Just to pass a few minutes away, I'm going to go up there now, and I'm going to do a bit of traffic watching. Why, I'm exciting. Lice.
Ze hadden een snak thuis van Aldi. Smokhouse, barbecue corn snacks. 99 pence, I think. Can I go wrong? Perfect for camping. If there was two years camping and you brought a few things between you to share, easily go between two man dingoes. Hop forward beer. 99 pence as well. This captain game doesn't have to cost the fortune man dingoes. You know what? I think I've gotten lucky camping in this spot. I was going to camp here anyway, even if Storm Asia wasn't coming. But I think I've timed this exact mondo perfect. The dingo mondo, man dingoes. It's <laughs> the same the do down. Mm. To the right of me, they've got the great big massive concrete wall where you've got the A19 highway, dual carriageway going over the top. So that's blocking any wind coming from that direction. Behind us, it goes up on a really steep bank up to the A19. To the left of us, you've got the woods, and that goes gentle for a bit, and then it goes really steep, really high up. So I'm actually getting really lucky. It's like the perfect spot for camping in the storm. I've just shared a post on their uh, Instagram of the top blown in the wind and I've tagged one wind outdoors into it because obviously they've given me the top for free to do a little review dingo hmm. and a legend by the name of Chris who runs the YouTube channel MCM Outdoors when I'm talking about legends of wild camping he is a proper legend he's just left a message saying something like you mental you or your mentalist or crazy something like that camping out in this he's probably right I am but I am um, he's one of the legends I'm hoping to camp with because I'm hoping to do a few meetups this year you know for me Wednesday night wild camping adventures I, most of them I'll be by myself you know but every now and again, I am looking at meeting up with a few other YouTubers and people like Chris from MCM, Andy Wardle, the legend Paul Mesner. Why you some Paul Mesner? <laughs> Alan Metalman outdoors. I've met up Alan before for a hike. Lundy, Jimmy Lundy, Lundy's Bushcraft and Wild Cabin, another legend from the northeast of England, like me. Yes, I'm going to meet up with a few legends this year. Looking forward to it. It's going to be class. I'll have to be on my best behaviour. <laughs> no, seriously. What you see here with me, don't get me wrong, it's not fake. You're seeing me the way I am, it's natural banter. But I'm actually a really quiet person when when I'm meeting up with someone I don't know. You know, I'm meeting up with someone for the first time. I'm actually quite shy and quiet, believe it or not. When I'm with the two Chris's, young Chris and cowboy Chris, like for example, when we've done body camps, 
And there's all there's all there's always other people out there. You never get the pocket to yourself. There's either people there when you get there and then other people turn up later on. I'm the quietest one at the three of us. Them two are chatting away straight away, mixing in. Well I'm quite quiet and it takes us a while to to get talking up to strangers. So, That's where the beers and the whisky come in handy. Couple of beers, couple of whiskies, start talking shite. You better believe man thing goes. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna get this torch off. I'm gonna lie back here. I'm gonna watch a few random <coughs> things on YouTube. bring you legends back very soon. You know what I'm talking about. Lies. Time for a little chess warmer. Yeah. Oh. Cheers, as my thing goes. Self love. Oh. Yes, I know I've already said it, but I think I've struck gold with this camping destination. Destination! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man, Dingoes. Storm Asia is raging havoc all over the UK, and I'm out here in my bivy under a tarp. Yes, it's a little bit windy. I've been out and worse than this. Just, you can see this massive brick wall behind us, which goes up 30, 40 feet with the A19 going over the top. And like I've said, it's like a steep bank all the way around Dingo Man Dingoes. So I'm getting lucky. I certainly have. Well, just having another couple of little chest warmers and it's now five to eight and it's Sunday night so I'm gonna get under the top I'm gonna get me phone me camera plug it me power bank get that charged up and I'm gonna just sit and relax for an hour I'm gonna do no recording for the next hour and I'm gonna sit there like a weirdo and I'm gonna watch my own video because like I've said, it's Sunday night. And the video that's going on tonight on YouTube is the video of me camping in the car park next to McDonald's and KFC. As you're watching this now on Sunday night, the KFC and McDonald's car park video was a week ago. Oh, why am some Dr. Emmett Brown back in the future? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, guys. Okay then, 
I'm going to get under there. I'm going to sit and watch my video of a week ago. The video, the video, the video you'll have watched a week ago. And when I bring you back, we'll be talking some more shite. We'll be cooking some chicken tikka masala. We'll be doing a world famous waski of you. You know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. And you know what makes absolute, complete, total, ultra sense. Bicycles. It's windy, Mandingos. The storm is picking up. Hopefully this good spot I've got will keep me out of the old Windingo Mandingos all night long. All night long, in the famous words of Lionel Blair. <laughs> oh yes, you better believe it. Oh, oh yes Mandingos, you know what time it is, Waski time, and this is what we've got this week, as you can see, there's not much left, as usual, you know the score on the Blood Outdoor Show Mandingos, Glen Morangi, Single Highland, Rare Malt Scotch Waski, 15 year old version, and like I've already said, this Waski is now discontinued you can still buy one you've got to try and look really hard you might find one of someone that's collecting it someone might have had it for years and they don't want it anymore and they want to cash in Cormac looking is the legend that sent me this so cheers Cormac my man friend it's very much appreciated and like I also said one of these can set you back now 150 175 pound depends what you want to pay for it man dingoes i'm very fortunate i've kept half a bottle like i said i've poured half a bottle into an empty water bottle at home so when i get home tomorrow i can pour that water bottle back into there keep this for my collection collection oh yeah man dingoes let's get this pop in the old famous cup dingo rice just enough, oh yes, just enough for the world famous Waski with you on the Blot Outdoor Show. And now, let's get the old Schnecker Rooney in it. We'll give that a swirl around. Here we go. Oh, now I'm getting a nice little fruity element there. Orange like orange pails you know when you peel orange and you smell orange pails or you smell your fingers or oh, smell your mum do you know what I mean and you get that strong orange peel smell on the old finger roonies that's what I'm getting there guys some mild spices I might be able to tell you more about them spices when I taste it Give that another swirl around. Let's get the beak in. I'm 
getting some honey notes guys some honey aromas anyway that's enough of the sniffing let's get on with the tasting right huh Now that hit the back of the old throat dingo man dingoes and went down really warm which is exactly what I'm looking for on a cold and stormy night. Cold and stormy. <laughs> I'm not singing again. <laughs> My singing is terrible. <laughs> oh, well, let's get another taste. I said like a strong orange peel snifferoonie and it's definitely got a fruity taste to it it's spicy and there's a few spices in there guys it's hitting the back of the throat and it's warming me up as it goes down through the old chest through the lung dingoes man dingoes the old Freddy Lungberg you know what I'm talking about Woman, the old Freddie Lungberg up. A fruity taste. I said orange in the smell. I am getting orange in the taste as well. But I'm also getting like a for me, like a zesty lime thing going on. I might be totally off if I am. If you go online and you read the reviews and I'm seeing a completely different thing, well, that's fine. That means I'm not cheating. That means I'm not talking shite and copying whatever you can read on Google I'm getting like a nice orange and like a zesty lime thing loads of spices warm in the old Freddy Lungberg but it's smooth it's thick it's not watery you know you get these cheap whiskies and they're piss watery metally like cleaning products you know ah uh, they're just horrible aren't they this is definitely not that this is quality and i can see why a collector would pay 150 pound or 175 pound for that me personally i'm a whiskey lover i haven't got money like that like that to spare do you know what i mean 175 pound a bottle of whiskey 30, 40, 50 pound is my price range if I'm really treating myself. But yes, once again, Cormac looking. Cheese mind, my friend. It's so kind of you to send me this. It's a quality bottle of whiskey and I am really enjoying it. And I'm loving just sitting here talking to you guys, breathing in the petrol fumes as the cars go past. You can't beat the great outdoors, can you? Fresh air, waski, petrol fumes. You know what I'm talking about, man, dingoes. Down the hot stickles. Mm. Tell you what, I have really enjoyed that. So smooth, so silky, honey, a few spices, orange, like a zesty lime thing for me. That's where I'm getting there. That's quality. I tell you what, it's time for the old score dingoes, man dingoes, and I'm going to give that a whopping 9.3 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Oh, yes, you better believe I am, and you know it makes absolute, complete, total sense. And you know what I'm talking about. This is serious stealth coming. Right. My God, listen to that wind.
nearly fell over. Well, folks, it's almost midnight. It's been a fantastic night. I'm getting hungry now. So I think it's time to get back down to the old bivvy and the old tarp shelter. Stuck on a branch. Let's go a nice hot meal on the Chaconi Waver, the old Chaconi Waver, Gorillas in the Mist, Chicken Tikka Masala with Indian style ricicles, licicles. A nice hot meal. That's the old Pandingo Mandingos. You better believe it is. Nice hot meal. Then it's time for the old bed dingo. Oh yes. What a night. What a camp for a Sunday night. You better believe it. Here we are guys. Making our way back down to camp. Mandingio. The old bivouac is blown away. Blown in the wind. Oh. Okay, guys, let's get some food on. I'll bring you back in a few Neil Sadaka's lice. Yes, Mandingo's chicken take a massage. Oh, yeah, bastard. Nearly went. <laughs> Curry's bubbling away, guys. The old chicken take a masala. Time to get the licicles popped in. The old Uncle Bensky Bates, international playboy bunny boiler. Yes. Two minutes, folks, and I'm going to be tucking into a nice hot meal right before I jump in the old bivouac. I'm looking forward to it. This fat lad is looking forward to a nice hot meal, guys. Chicken take a masala, Indian style licicles. You know what I'm talking about. Rice. I'll bring you back in a few seconds, guys, when I am tucking in to that. The old pansexual. The old pansexual. Sexual. Pan sexual. Windy City. Yes, guys, this is just what you need. Mm. A nice hot meal. Fit for a mandingo. Mm. Apologies if you can't hear me properly because of the wind noise. That's just the way it goes, mandingos. my god I know that's just something so basic a tin of chicken tikka masala from Morrison's supermarket 
and lice from my good friend Uncle Bensky Bates. Mixed together. I know in the house that it's just a proper low budget, average male, below average male probably. When you're out camping, And you're looking for something easy to carry, easy to cook, quick to cook. This is where that man then goes. Mm. Fantastic old man then goes. Oh yes. <laughs> certainly warm in the old couples because just when I finish this as soon as I finish this I'm going to climb in the Slating Park in the old bivouac and I'm going to get a few hours shut I because I've got to be up. Lindsay Morgan, no mucking around. No lying for this man, Dingo. No siree. Oh, there's loads of chicken in this. Well, man, Dingo, I'm going to take this chance now to see a big, fat, massive, mega, ginormous, thank you. to all you legends who have supported my channel over this last week each and every one of you is a legend the fact that some of you keep doing it week after week after week I can't believe it I can't believe that you're so kind and the support that you're giving us it does really blow me mind. I'm just some normal bloke, like I've said a million times before. But yeah, it is really appreciated, guys. I'll keep coming out. I'll keep coming out and making these videos no matter what. When you buy me a coffee, it does make it that little bit easier, you know. Especially when I start doing the three videos a week going over the Lake District or Northumberland or where have you every week it's going to be a massive help so I'm so grateful guys but everyone else that's watching you know don't worry about it if you have a buzz of coffee I'm not asking you to do that just leave me a thumbs up leave us a comment Take 30 seconds of your time, Dingo Man Dingo, so leave this man Dingo a comment. That's the plan, Dingo. You better believe it is, man Dingo's. And I will be so happy with that. We have gone out your way, guys. You have bought me a coffee. The Blot Outdoor Show. This one's a mega, massive, ginormous thank you to all you legends. There's your names down there. Down there, guys. Thank you so much. Each and everyone is everyone. Everyone that watches is a legend. But a big thank you, for all you legends that have bought me a coffee this last week. Cheers, man, dingoes. Thank you so much. It's very much appreciated. And you know, it makes total sense. Rice. Well, folks, that's it. It's a tight squeeze in the bivvy. Can you hear that? 
the storm has picked up big time man dingoes fingers crossed none of them trees come falling down on this man dingo but I'll not be worrying about that because in five or ten minutes I'll be hitting the Zeds I'll be out for Z count I'm buggered I'm shattered it's been a fantastic night I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far now I'm gonna say bonjour hola and I'll see you legends first thing in Z Morgan at coffee time you better believe I will Right, it goes. Good morning, man dingoes. Looks like the one wind camping shelter. Stood up to the wind. It's done the job. <coughs> it's 7.15. And with all the traffic noise and the wind, can't sleep any longer so I might as well get up, get packed away, get out of Dodge City, get home to the, the lovely Mrs. Blot with his sexy bot. in a winner. <laughs> so there we are folks that's me all packed away Bin Diesel, Baghdad, ready to put on the old back of That's where I was camped with the bivy and the one wind outdoors tarp shelter over the top of us. And it's safe to say it was a good bit of kit. And for £40, you can't go wrong, dingo man, dingoes. So I click the link in the description of this video and that'll take you through to one wind outdoors website. You know, it makes sense. Okay, then, guys, let's get out of here because it's been a long, uncomfortable night there, I must say. And the man flu is getting worse. You guys know what I'm on about there. <laughs> How are them? Let's get cracking. How are them? Let's go. I don't care who sees us now. Right. Well, man, dingoes, that's it. That's the end of this week's stealth camping video. Hope you enjoyed it. I had an absolutely fantastic time as usual. If you have enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I do read every one. And please remember to tune in next week for my next Foodie Friday night video and my next Sunday night stealth camp. Okay then, man, dingoes, that's it. See you next week. And thank you for tuning in to the Blot Outdoor Show. Oh, oh yes. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Amazing. Oh. You know, it's my turtle since my very 